Thank you, Professor James Woodhausen. Um, you are the visiting professor of forecasting and innovation for London South Bank University. Um, in addition to your academic work, though, you're also involved in some commercial activities as well. So I wonder if you could just set the scene and tell us something about what you do. Well, at London South Bank, I work with engineering students and product design students and have a close eye on the 3D printing facilities they have there. So that keeps me very much in touch with manufacturing practice and so on. It's great fun. Uh, I work with manufacturers in giving speeches, consulting and writing white papers, and also with people in IT, retail, cities, transport, uh, most sectors really. So in the book, um, the reason why I've asked you to come in is that um, I've talked a little bit about how supply chains are increasingly becoming supply networks. Um, but mostly what I've done is focus on the logistics and the technology that are helping manufacturers to so-called shrink the world a bit. But really where uh, I think you could add some value is to explore what do you think are some of the geopolitical shifts that are taking place at the moment, especially with what we've seen in Europe with Brexit, the ascendancy of Trump in China. Interested to hear your views. Well, uh, Trump's already gearing up for a fight with China, but then so was Hillary Clinton uh, when she made the pivot to Asia some years back. So I think we're going to see a lot of tension there. Um, I do think the EU will break up within the next two to five years, no doubt about that. I think the thing to remember is that trade relations are more protectionist and they're more arbitrary. You know, I can be cross with you one day and play for a domestic audience that day. And then uh, if you just look at, say, Turkey and Russia, for example, diplomatically, then we can make up and I can have another enemy the next day. What it means for manufacturers is you better have plan B, plan C and plan D ready for every eventuality because it needn't follow a, a normal rational trajectory, uh, international trade and supply chain. OK, thanks so much. Um, I'm deliberately keeping these interviews brief. So uh, if anybody watching would like to get in touch with James, his email address and his website are at the bottom of the screen. And um, James, thank you so much for joining us for the book. Great, Matt. Thank you. Thank you.